So I finally, at the end of the journey, I finally discovered the truth about this reality or La La Land, as someone would call it, you know, which I think La La Land is more appropriate. Anyway, we are living in an illusion. It's Maya. And not only the buildings, not only the surroundings, the people as well. They're not real now. I think all this is divine. So we are in a divine, we live in a divine reality. And we are creators as well. There is not just one creator. We are all creators. So of course, if you want to have power over people, all you need to do is to abuse them, treat them very badly so that they, you can suck out their, suck up their energy from them and and so you can have power over them and that's what's been happening all along you know since the time i was born now i don't know if this is all like a dream and i'm going to wake up and okay it was just a dream and none of the people were real you know it's a bit like the truman show i feel like reality is a bit like the truman show so all the people everything is here for you for you to understand something about yourself, which is divine, and I love it, you know, it's fantastic. But also to never lose your temper, because they will drive you insane with the purpose of stealing your energy. And that's what they've been doing uh, ever since, you know, ever since I was born, you know, traumatizing people, so that you, by thinking or by creating fear, by creating fear, they, they keep you on a leash, like a dog on a leash, you know. Fear uh, is like a limit, an obstacle to your unlimited mind. We are unlimited beings and life is infinite. We don't die. None of us die. Dies. Life is infinite. And uh, so this a beginning being born and, and dying is like giving a beginning and an end to infinity. Infinity doesn't have a beginning and doesn't have an end. So it's hard to explain, but anyway, this is what I've experienced so far. This is what I what I know. Some people say the soul is immortal, you know, but I don't know if only the soul is immortal or even if we can carry this beautiful body along with us, you know. Maybe, uh, yeah, the body can go through se several... Um, yeah, transformation like kind of processes and in fact and that's why I think there are so many changes in the world nowadays that's why people are turning vegan because that's the the best way anyway eating more veggies not eating dead not eating the dead or not eating the dairy products of animals because they they, they clog your arteries. I mean, the purest you are, the highest you get, you know. And so that's it. If you're willing to, yeah, to make a few changes in your life for the better, to feel healthier. Yeah, be prepared though, because they're going to attack you. Because they don't want people to, to let's say uh, in brackets, to enter heaven with impurity in them. Impurities, but I guess you use the pure. I don't know, the plural. Maybe this is, has happened to me because now my body is. Uh, I've been attacked by spirit. Yes, yeah, saw them. And first time in my life that I've seen a spirits. Like they materialized and then they vanished right in front of me. They vanished. They had no bodies. They were not real human beings. So you can imagine how I felt. Luckily, I was already very sick in bed and uh, but i saw them i saw them so i know they're real i don't know what they are they can change voice like you know luckily i've seen so many movies like shapeshifters there are shapeshifters there are people that can change they can uh, imitate uh, other people's voices Perfectly. I thought all this, you know, Schwarzenegger movie, like movies like Terminator and uh, Avatar, all these movies were just movies, you know, but they're not. There, there is a lot of truth in uh, science fiction. So anyway.
anyway, now it's very... So we live in a world that, which is really the, the product of our imagination. So, of course, if you want to... If you want people to recreate uh, the same kind of reality that you've been controlling so far, then it's important for you to send these people at school, you know, when they're children, so that they will... Uh, continue repeat like in a loop they will continue to recreate the same reality there is no scarcity there is no poverty there is nothing it's all our imagination so of course if you abuse people and treat them really badly you take their energy and then the less energy they have the, uh, the less power they have to create reality and so that's why it's important to be peaceful all the time and to treat everybody with respect because there are also some laws that are true everything that you do in this life life will come back to you you know the boomerang effect which is necessary anyway and also i studied religions all religions and all the religions yes they give you a few hints about something about reality but what's going on here is really something much much more different than what we are used to I mean it's complete madness you know it's like a totally irrational you know you now uh, scientists especially quantum physics uh, scientists are discovering that there is no time there is no also there is uh, my experience there is no space as well there is no time because everything we do influences the past i mean if you if you want to yeah i think i'm going to upload this before i, I vanish completely but anyway not now <laughs> not now <laughs> because they will do something to me if i do it anyway they have already been uh, like targeted by by them and who is them i don't know i know it depends on your on the enemy that you got in your in your consciousness i thought who would do this to humanity? You know, why would you, would we, I mean, you see the animals, they got food, they got, uh, you know, clean, they live in a fresh and clean environment. They're all happy. You know, they found partners. They, they're free. And then we come and we destroy everything, put poison everywhere and then force people to have a certain lifestyle and make sure that, you know, they, they live in fear. This is, uh, this is what, what we have created with our consciousness. I don't know, we would have, uh, you know, maybe f with our fear or... Uh, so we created security and security kills the soul. So we are no longer, we turn into robots and some kind of androids, you know, and, we, and then we lose the power to feel because also talking is a waste of time, which I enjoy very much, especially now that I have nobody to talk to in person. And so, yeah, so we lose our capacity to feel, which is divine. The feeling is divine. What you feel is real. It's when you talk, and people, when they lie, they use their brain to lie. And they use their words. They can't lie with their feelings unless they're not human. Like in my situation, I never know what they're doing, you know. I never know whether if what they're feeling is real or if it's another illusion. But anyway, uh, it's the end of the illusion. It's Maya has been destroyed, and I'm so happy. And uh, here, here they are. Here they come. As soon as they think of something, they're coming to check on me. Yeah, pretending to be human. I know they're not human. You know, they can't even change their voice and tone of their voice completely. Anyway. And I'm going to tell the entire world the truth. And that's why they, they're worried, because no more lies. So if this is a dream, in my dream, everybody's equal. Everybody has access to food, plenty of it, and fresh water, clean water. There is no civilization. So we, we, can, we are intelligent enough to have a good life without having to... Uh, exploit others no privileges no one not a single one to anyone no more privileges okay if you got an inferiority complex and you need other people to 
worship you or something you know to depend on you for their survival then lay down and speak to yourself i don't know do something but just no more hierarchy yeah hierarchy is a lie there is no hierarchy in our world we're all creatures made of love and we're all divine everything is divine everything is the completely divine so it's time for a world of peace love and joy goodbye enjoy your journey and see you in the real reality <laughs>